Hey guys, this is Tori with Acoustic Interviews and I'm here with Squid the Whale. Can you guys personally introduce yourselves and tell us what you do in the band? I'm Brandon, play guitar. I'm Dan, I play bass. My name is Bradley, I sing in the band. I'm John and I play the drums. The drums. Good job. Good job. So who do you guys have as musical inspirations? I'm going to start over here. Pass. <laughs> there are no Their uh, question was what, your musical inspirations. I'll I'll go last. I'll go last. Um, <laughs> I would have to say Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, Jackson Five. Am I forgetting anyone? Pass. <laughs> you want to go or you want me? To? All right. Well, like personal inspirations um, have to be like Peter Hook from Joy Division and New Order, and then Willie Graves from the band The Pot to Blow Up the Eiffel Tower. Uh, most classic rock, like Led Zeppelin, Stones, then um, I love like old blues like John Lee Hooker, stuff like that, and of course Hendrix. Um, my inspiration is Eminem. Bam. <laughs> Alright guys, how'd you get into music? Individually? Individually. I started playing music when I was 14, picked up a guitar, and I just sat in my room, laid on my bed, just jammed for hours. I would wait to get out of school just so I could jam in my room until it was time to go to bed. <laughs> uh, when I was eight, my mom bought me a guitar. My dad almost shit himself. And then it was just kind of like a hobby. And then I think I was like 18, my friend was like, you gotta join this band. I joined it and then the rest is history. I wish it never happened. All downhill from there. <laughs> uh, I started singing about five years ago when I was in the military. I was singing in a car and this chick was like, you sound good. <laughs> and I was like, this is how you do it. And that was that. Um. I don't remember the age, but I started playing the drums because my family was always playing music and n none of them really played the drums. So I just wanted to play with my, you know, play jamming with my dad. Okay. And that's how I started. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you guys feel about people who download music illegally? Oh, I'm first on this. Great. Um, you know, personally, as long as they're listening to the music, I think that it's fine. Granted, you know, artists want money to survive and make it on the road, but I think as long as they're getting the music, then I'm cool with it. That was well said, John. Thank you. I'll have to agree. That's a great area. I want people to listen, but I also want them to stop being so fucking cheap. Your turn. All right, well, well, um, I have a love-hate relationship with it, I guess. It, it really hurts small artists. It really hurts small artists um, when you download their stuff illegally because they're the ones that are dependent on people supporting them. Um, but, like, if I download a Justin Bieber album, I doubt he's going to miss, like, that $10 from me, considering he's got millions. Oh, so, yeah. It basically hurts artists no matter what. Because if you're Justin Bieber and 10,000 people illegally download your song, you're going to miss that $10. That's true. But That's true. But you still have like 900,000 people buying it. thing is they can't hear you right now. They still have like 900,000 people <laughs> buying it. He's got a point. It's just it hurts them. But if that's how you have to do it, go for it. I'm sure most people don't have time to search for that album. And they'll gladly spend the measly five dollars to get it but if you get off illegally downloading have at it you wouldn't download a car <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys do for a million dollars like i could do anything and get a million dollars like yeah. eat it like eat a sandwich i would eat a sandwich for a million dollars okay there you go i'd do this interview for a million dollars nice that's, that's awesome i would i would also have some of dan's sandwich if it meant that I would get a million dollars. 
Um, t- tell me what to do. Run naked backwards through a cornfield. <laughs> Run naked backwards through a cornfield is what Dan said. I will do it. Million dollars. What do you guys wish for on 11-11? I wish for 12:02 because that's when I take my nap. So. <laughs> um. I don't. I don't wish. You don't wish. He's not a. W- he's not a wisher. I'm. Okay. Um, I'm that. I'm that greedy asshole that wishes for more wishes so I could have endless wishes. Pass. He passes. <laughs> What's your favorite prank that you've ever pulled on someone? Anyone have a good one? Oh, he's got a good one, <laughs> apparently. Um, this is, I don't know if it's, act, it's this is really this bad, is actually. This is, this is the coffin one. Um, there was this kid. He was our friend, and he pissed us off. So around Halloween, we built a coffin for him drove nails where you would hit your hands on it if you were locked in said coffin and we had this huge elaborate plan like we we're gonna get high with them and then I was gonna slip them some laxatives beforehand we had a, a grave dug a place to do it and we we're gonna like kidnap him bring him there and then like put him in the coffin where he would pound on said nails and then lift them up like say six feet and then just drop it and then just leave him there for about an hour while he shat himself because I fed him said laxatives. However, it was foiled and it never happened. Why did it get foiled? Because some asshole had a big mouth. The prince, he got told on to the principal and then he got suspended. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, there you go. Who's the funniest person in the band? Dan. That would be uh, Daniel J. Matazinski, who is to your right, has a hat, a green jacket. <laughs> What's the first memory you guys have of your entire life? The first memory of my entire life. <sighs> Hold on, I have a long life. Okay. It'll be, I don't know if it's true, but it was getting hit with a board by my f- father. So that's where my songs come from. Here's John. It was, I was punished, man. I think I kicked a dog. And they can't hear you, so. <laughs> Daniel J. Okay, here's John. John doesn't have memories. No memories. Oh, shit. God. Dude, I almost took the camera. My first memory is almost pulling this camera down. Daniel J., what's your first memory? All right, so there's this kid, all right, and he had this plastic... This plastic, um, like, broadsword that I thought was, like, the most badass thing. And then my mom got me a plastic samurai sword, and I wasn't too fond of it. So I traded the kid, and we were sword fighting for a while. I flew the sword out of his hand doing that whole thing. And then I took his sword and my sword, and I ran off. And I think I fell and ripped my knee open really bad, and I had to go to the emergency room and get stitches. I was three. I was three. He took my sword. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite pickup line? Brandon? Yo, girl. Hey, I play guitar and Squid the Whale. <laughs> that was it. Did you see it? Thank you. No one saw it. I looked into the camera. Look again. It. That was good. <laughs> Who's your hero? That would be my mom. Shout out to my mom. Happy birthday. I love you. You stole my answer. It's not her birthday. It's your mom. <laughs> Brandon? <laughs> He's not my hero. I'm just handing it off. There you go. Oh. go. My hero. All of us are our Yeah. My mom is my hero. She is my hero. My rock. My... My Rushmore. I don't know what that means. I've never seen the movie. Go ahead. Go ahead. Brandon has no heroes. If you guys were to be arrested, what would it be for? Next question. 
<laughs> Describe each person in the band using one word. I'm going to pick you because you have not answered a lot of questions. Oh, man, Describe nice. each person in the band using one word. Woo! One word. Sassy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, that's all I got. No, everyone. I can't. Everyone. <laughs> what is Dan? What funny. Is Dan? Dan is funny. Oh, wow. Brandon. You picked the wrong person. Brandon's turn. What's Brandon's word? Brandon is man. Good. I helped you out. Man. Man. What about you? You give a word to describe yourself. Yeah. I describe, can't describe myself. Describe you. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have a signature dance move, and can you show us? Yes. Ooh, no, no, I. Do. What Bradley is? Bradley has this Bradley great has dance move. Dude, pull, pull it out. Pull out the dance move. What move? Bradley Walden, pull out the dance move. You got it. The cold thing, or just the fucking Michael Jackson song. Okay, okay. All right. Can <laughs> okay. you? You got his. You got his whole body. This guy has to be moved. Do you have the whole body? Um. You're gonna need the whole body. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, whatever you are. I think that was the coolest dance move we've ever seen on this show. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> All right, guys, last question. Any plans for the future? Anything to promote right now? Dan, Who wants to take it? I don't, I don't know if I'm going to spoil anything or not. Oh, okay. When is this, this going to air? Probably tonight. Tomorrow or tonight. Um, tomorrow or tonight. Well, you can check out all of our tour dates on squarethewhale.com. 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 YouTube.com. Slash squarethewhale. <laughs> Boom. Also, what was the question? Anything to promote. What else? Anything else besides that promote question? Let me see this. Do you have any plans for the future? We have a tour coming up in May slash June. You can find all those dates on squarethewhale.com. In the future. Squidthewell.com. Squidthewell.com in the future. Future. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> That's all. Here's a microphone. Okay. Here, this is yours. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.